I'm Golf Sidekick, your friend in the fairways, the high handicap whisperer. And this is how we do it here in Chiang Mai. This is where I live. In Chiang Mai, the streets are so narrow that we had to get a small little Nissan Micra just to navigate the small streets. This is the big boy though. This is the Toyota Hilux. Very classy vehicle. We put a canopy on it to make it look like, like a van, like a limousine, high end. So this is what I travel up and down the country in, a big old pickup truck. And this is where my workshop is. This is where I create products from wood, from all kinds of scrap. We just, my dad and I enjoy doing that stuff together. Um, we've got all the tools here that you need. We've got like a tape measure, like a screwdriver, some, some pliers and a hammer. So we, we have everything we need here to create you know, a lot of stuff from my imagination. And here's one of the pieces that we've been working on recently. We just finished this up. Uh, let's see what's in my house. Welcome to my crib. Inside here, we walk straight into the lounge. And in the lounge, we have my dad. My dad's over here in Chiang Mai. So we're always hanging out together. We've got a lot of books down here. We're today, currently I'm reading Psycho Cybernetics. He has a toy from when I was a child. So my dad keep, kept all my toys. It's a little wooden train called he Heros. I don't, bro, how old is this thing? 37 years. About 37 years. That's how long we've had that. Um, he has one of the other businesses that I did in South Africa. This is one of the bad ones, but I made rival FIFA 2010 soc soccer football toys, which actually sold quite well. So this was a South African one we had for many countries. We weren't allowed to use FIFA branding anywhere. So there's no 2010, there's no FIFA or World Club or Cup on here. It just says South Africa has the flag and then this, oh, that's what a player, <laughs> that's what a player. This is where we like to hang out. But what I really like to do is I like to sit here in this corner playing my favorite game plan. Now today's sponsor is Fishing Clash. It's another sporting hobby. We all love to play golf. We love to go fishing. It's impractical to get out to the fishing pond. So we have to bring it to our phone in our pocket. Way easier, way more fun. Now Fishing Clash may be the only mobile game that I truly enjoy playing. The graphics are unbelievable. Check out this babe watching me fish in the background. Now I travel all over the world in this game, exploring amazing fishing spots, fishing from the shore, or from a boat. The days of prepping for a fishing trip are over. I get it done from my pocket taking part in weekly competitions, upgrading my rods and lures to compete real good. Now one of the best things about this game are the clans. You can join a clan, you can create your own clan, you can ask friends and family to join up, and you can compete with other players on the game. Download Fishing Clash by using my link in the description or scan the QR code you see on the screen. Use my special gift code Sidekick to get $20 value reward for free. With my gift code Sidekick, you'll get a unique avatar, one mythical lure card, 50 luck power-ups, and 30 weight power-ups to help catch bigger fish. Sometimes there are bigger fish to fry. Help support my channel and use my code Sidekick for game-changing rewards. In the lounge here, we have an old tripod that I used to make videos with, and I've created a light out of that. Me and my dad in the workshop. We've got a blood pr pressure machine down here just to check blood pressure. Like uh, came back from the UK and because anchovies are so expensive in Thailand, I actually bought six tins and two bottles of anchovies to throw on pizza because I think the same thing in Thailand of this size is probably about about eight dollars and this was only about a dollar, dollar fifty. Another thing that I like is a finger sep exercise. So I like to do my, my finger seps. I like to put that on there like that. And then, you know. So my dad and I like to play word games. We'll play Scrabble. This uh, Scrabble's been with us for about 25 years, maybe 30 years. And upward, two very different games. One is for short words and one is for as long as you can make. And underneath that, we have our bird books. Birds of Thailand and Southeast Asia, because we are birders. We've got Birds of Prey playing cards, and we have the Birds of Southern Africa. Beautiful books, and we also like a bit of chess. So we'll play some chess every now and then. Um, but here's the chess piece, but mainly we like to play backgammon. My dad and I are backgammon fiends. 
we have a few Iranian friends we like to play against, and uh, we take their money every time. That's just how good we are. This is a beautiful picture of our beloved dog, Cheeky. He, he sadly passed while I was in COVID uh, lockdown in Malaysia. This is a picture of my father and him. I painted this picture because I'm a bit of an artist. 100% there, you can see I signed it. Matty Boom Boom. Read bloody golf books. So, this is what I'm reading at the moment. We're reading Tom Doak, The Anatomy of a Golf Course. We've got The 22 Immutable Laws of Marketing. We're doing John Grisham, The Grounds for Golf, Golf Archi Architecture, Methods of Golf Architecture, Lose a Think, What Everybody is Saying, Four Foundations of Golf. I've read that, not a bad book. Thinking Fast and Slow, Impossible to Ignore, Everyday Thing Design, and The Power of Habit. That's what we've read so far in the last, I don't know, three days. Thanks for joining me for my TED Talk. What's in the fridge? What's in the, what's in the player fridge? In the fridge we have, we have milk straight from the cow's udder. This one gets delivered to us from a farm here in Chiang Mai, undercover. You know, if you don't drink that, you can drink this other stuff, which is not great. We have both, but we like to you have that one. Little cream forms on top. We've got some special stuff from South Africa here. Now this one you don't get everywhere except South Africa. This is Mrs. Ball's chutney. So we like to mix that with mayonnaise and chicken to create a chicken mayonnaise, no, chicken ch chutney mayonnaise dish. Other than that, I'm a big soda, fan, soda drinker. I drink a lot of soda water. And what else do we have? In the freezer, we have beef tallow, homemade. So we make the tallow ourselves. We like a lot of sausage. This one is Buravors, made here in Chiang Mai. This is South African sausage. It means farmer's sausage. So that's quite delightful. We really miss that stuff from South Africa. So we make our own or find people who do. Uh, other than that, it's just mainly meat and beef liver in here with a lot of cheese and a lot of butter, lots of blocks of butter. That's how we like to eat. And what we like to do down here is we've got some biltong makers. So my dad and I will make biltong. Like we talked about the Buravor sausage in the freezer. My dad and I will buy oyster blade, for example, and we'll make some oyster blade biltong. We brought these all the way from South Africa, biltong kings, two of them. Give it about, in Thailand, you probably give it about 36 to 48 hours and you've got perfect biltong. Now part of my dad and I making furniture is that this is a door. So we made a table out of a door and we have, so this is just scrap wood that we found at a building site, and that's a door. The other thing we have here is another part of a door, more scrap wood, and that holds plates and our teapots and our coffee makers and our ketchup and our flour fashioned from candle wax, which is actually a candle. Um, we've got our grip trainer. Through here, this is where the magic happens. This is actually where my dad stays. He has a coffee wall over here. And this is where he keeps track of all the coffee he drinks from the best down to the worst. So Starbucks, Starbucks is at the bottom. He doesn't like Starbucks very much. I don't mind a bit of Starbucks. I'll have a cold brew every now and then. Uh, up here is all the best. And this is where he stays. I don't know why, I'm not sure why, but my dad has created a room basically with a bed for prisoners. <laughs> Let's go take a look upstairs. This is our kitchen, wait. First, let's have a look at our kitchen. This is the kitchen. This is the kitchen. We've got a gas stove over here. We've got all the herbs and spices, all the knives we need, but check this out. Look at this wall. Look at this, how organized is this, right? So come through the back here and I'll show you. This is, this is where I like to barbecue. But you see the barbecue is over here. This is our barbecue, a little rusty. And we've got a whole bunch of other projects we're working on over here. This is a table that we've created. So we're going to edit that a little bit and change the colors. Uh, we want to get rid of the whites. We want to add a color and we want to change that wood to be a, a darker mahogany color. Let's go back inside. We're going to go upstairs in a second. But one thing you'll find here in Thai houses, the bottom was probably put down first and it's all concrete down here. But because there wasn't like much emphasis on air conditioning back then, what they do is they create vents here like this. And you'll see a few more around the tops of the, the ceiling, like over there in my dad's bedroom. And that, that is to get the airflow going to keep it from being too hot. It doesn't work because it's still nearly 100 degrees in here. And what you'll find is that a lot of the stuff 
is just very slapdash. Go down there and take a picture of these stairs to show how skew they are. So look at these stairs, how squiff they are. Look at, look at the, the craftsmanship on these stairs. Now this would have just been put together slapdash as they upgrade the house. So once you come up here, you see it's different materials. It's all wood or cardboard instead of concrete everywhere. So come up, have a look. So in Thai houses and Thailand, one of the things you'll find is sometimes the toilets are squat toilets. This one is not. This is actually a normal toilet. So we've got a normal toilet in this one. Probably would have been a squat here before. But the difference here in Thailand, which may be different to where you are, is everything's kind of like one. This was put up later. Normally the water will just go everywhere. We use hot water heaters, which are electric here, instant heaters. So the water comes in, heats up, comes through the pipe, and you get warm water. I like warm showers. I don't take cold showers in Thailand and I have soap bar. So sometimes when you don't have much money at the end of the month, there's more month at the end of your money, you take these and you make them wet and you squash them together and you create one soap. That way you save money. Because of the septic system, I don't know what it is, but you're not supposed to flush toilet paper down. It's much easier if it just handles the shizer. But in Thailand, we have to put our toilet paper in a bin. So you don't put it in the toilet to flush, you put it in the bin and then to empty that at the end of the week or at the end of the day, however much toilet paper you use. Depends if you leave, if you have like a marker pen down there and it just won't stop coming. And in here is where I like to sleep. And this is the big double bed, okay? This is for the king. This is me, the king of the house, this is me. So this is a workbench when I have to work late and I don't wanna keep my dad up. So I'll be out here, I've got my little keyboard, put the computer up here. Now another interesting thing here in the Thai house, so this is cardboard, this is cardboard, like literally there's this much cardboard between you and the outside world, it gets stinking hot up here. This is not even glass here, there's a mosquito net and then there's shutters which open and close through these burglar bars. So if you want to open the window, you have to open the shutters, there's no glass in the way. The other one we have is this style here which is, which are, sh which are like like uh, blinds made of glass so you you wind it open it like that and then close it like that and that's it's not exactly heat proof so we have to compensate by using the air conditioner a lot a lot a lot otherwise you don't make it otherwise you don't make it we have one more bedroom here we have one more bedroom here this bedroom this is for visitors now remember players, fishing clash. Follow my QR code or the link in the description. Remember the code SIDEKICK for $20 value absolutely free.